Right. I'm assuming that my base will be done very soon. So probably what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the crossroads, get the drugs. Gonna, I'm probably going to take another one of these quick militia quests just so I can get some more stuff. Because uh, I'm going to go to Red Fighter anyway to change out some gear and that. And then... Is he a different guy this time? Nope, same guy. Yeah, so I'll just do this, get that, get the crossroads stuff, and hopefully just do it in one big round trip. Right, let's have a look at the crossroads then. So the trunk was here. Yeah, there we go. And that's definitely not the trail. Why is it still red, actually, with blood? Sure enough, there's no carrier in sight. Better inspect the tree, hello. Put your hand into a tree hollow and start digging around. After a moment, your fingers touch something uncomfortably cold and wet. The way you start inspecting the strange object, get a grip on it and start to pull it out. Jesus. The object turns out to be a severed head of a fairly young man. It's masked up with a bloody piece of paper. Quickly, you throw the head back into the tree hollow but keep the note. That's pretty cool, actually, the way the head appeared. That's really good. I was expecting something like that. What an adventure this turned out to be. Oh, fuck. I thought that was, that was an ambush of them for a second. Right, I bet this is going to be a bad note. This is taking our Spartan Fogolevka. Remember, we'll kill ten of you for every one of us. If someone dares to even look at one of my guys the wrong way, the punishment will be death. Simon, your cronies better watch themselves. From this time on, until the end of their lives. Uncle H. Well, shit. What have I stepped into? I knew there was a reason for this map. That doesn't seem to be too much more going on here, but oh well. I wonder whether I'm going to get random ambushes on the world map now. That'd be kind of cool. I'm going to need to go over to that area as well now. I've got that gas mask. Oh, I'm so looking forward to all this stuff that's just opening up for me. So many quests. So many cool things. Extra boost in damage now though. Glorious. Been ambushed by a gang of slave hunters. Do I fancy my chances? No, but I'm going to try anyway. Strange combat, I don't have a good feeling about this. Right, so what they got? Hunting rifle, sawn off shotgun, hunting rifle, PPSH. Oh, these guys must have missed the uh, well geared up memo. And I can free the slaves as well. Her, him, and her. Oh, and a TT pistol. Yeah, I feel we can take these guys. Hey there, buddy. Should I target one of the guys further back, hoping I can get a headshot and the Yeah, so I'll target. Oh no, when I fire, I'm gonna end my turn. I'm gonna hope I kill him. I'm gonna tell these guys to target that guy. I'm gonna tell my melee guys to target the closest. Woof, woof. Oh, woof, woof, woof. And I'm gonna target the guy at the back. Oh, 75%. Hmm. Right, I'll target him instead. Yeah, 99. I'm um, only 30. Wait, there's more of them? Oh. Holy shit. <laughs> Alexander took two damage. Alexander, you're such a badass. Can't really target him because he's, everyone's in the way. Oh, he's the guy. Oh, 55% chance. Not good. Let's target this guy instead. Damn it. Holy fuck. Oh, wait. Alexander took a very small amount of damage. Why is he so injured with 52? They're just not healing from before. Alexander, you're terrifying. Fidel, no! Careful now, Fidel. Although, I'm fairly sure. Ooh. Now my hand! Oh, I thought you said head. Now my head is only good for amputating. That's a suicide by words there. Damn it. I can't really get any crits anymore. Alexander, stop taking zero damage. 
Ah, oh, damn. Yeah, no, keep taking zero damage. Oh god, for damn I die here. They still got the action economy on me. Holy fuck! Fidel, you should have probably- Oh, you did heal. Wow, you healed and still could do that? Wait, why are- Oh. Why- why is he not moving? That's weird. I haven't told him to do anything different, I don't think. Oh well. That's enough damage. Keep us out with nine bullets left. I'm uh, gonna make you guys target that guy and that guy and me and Alexander are gonna take out these two. Holy shit. Has he got a cleaver? Why are you unable to hit Fidel? You got Holy shit. I know he had a frying pan. Thirty-one, nice. You guys target him then. No point wasting shots. Oh no, if that shoots Zulvaz, he's significantly less tanky. Nice. Come on, get knocked down, dude. All right. Well, that was a lot more damage than I expected, but better to die than to be a slave. Thanks for saving me from those freaks. That looks like Gozen. Huh. Well, I might be over encumbered now. That's a lot of gear. Although they use most of it shooting us, it seems. What the fuck is wrong with this guy's inventory? How much damage does a frying pan do, actually? Alexander with a frying pan does. 1 to 10. Nope. It's not worth. Sad. That'd be rather amazing seeing him just way in there. This unstoppable behemoth armed with a frying pan. Serving up some whoop ass. A lot of the weight that I've got is actually in petrol and diesel, isn't it? Hunger. No one knew. Hello, Pasha. How's life, Chief? Oh yeah, actually, let's have a look. Let's see my new place. So, I can't remember what I did. Was it the resting quarters or the bathroom? Oh, why is this laggy? What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a mannequin. Is it a mannequin? A radio as well. Can I tune it? You see a radio receiver. It looks old but still functional. Static can be heard from the speaker. Alright, spin the knob to the right. Right. Hitting goes stronger. To the right. Code purple. I repeat, code crack. Oh, cracking. Is everyone dead? Static kills voice completely. To the right. I think I have a signal. Cracking. It's getting hot in here. Loud crackle and silence is the rest of the words. Hissing if the receiver calms down a bit. I think I have a signal. See you in KRZ. Loud crackling noise. No, it seems that I missed it. Hmm. Atom 1 calling Atom 2. Does anyone hear me? What if I leave it? So not so left. Oh, this is VPC2. Is ever really dead? Is it the same voice or is it different voices? Anyone hear me? Please respond. I can't seem to respond. Oh, do you hear me? I don't understand what's going on. So that's roughly the same stuff. I'm going to get away from it and hopefully it'll pick up a signal or something in the meantime. Ooh, what about this? 
Whoa, look the gym over. Room for sports and activity is tiny, smelly, and badly lit. However, since there's an apocalypse right outside the door, you can't find anything to feel bad about in your private little gym. Oh, so can I start training here? Ah, oh, yeah, so I can just a quick close to that, can't I? Huh. <laughs> when safe stuff over. Ah, that, so I can change my gear. Military style. A camo pattern coat. Many armies used before the war. Many people do so even now. Change clothes. Let's have a look. What do I look like? That's kind of cool, actually. I'm kind of used to my blue, but. What else we got? Action hero. Eh, not feeling it. Let's go. Let's actually switch to military style. Interesting. Looks a bit more functional with the gear. A lot more. What the hell's that? Is that a robot one? No. Okay, right. Let's see if I can actually train my pitiful strength. Or I can practice the jail through the barbell. Is that dex? Oh, since the barbell is pretty hard to get. Can you finally shake the barbell? I should have known better. Right. Oh, I had to change the weight. Wait, set to. Paint to red numbers that show 15. Change the weight. It's marked with 15. Yeah, I don't wanna. Let's see. Can I do it again? Put the gym over. No, so it looks like I can try and train it and there's a chance. Interesting. Engine's working fine. That's really cool though. Hmm. I'll have to keep coming back and testing that out. Ooh, shower. You can wash off some radioactive dust and freshen yourself up. Have a shower. You take off your dusty clothes, enter the shower cabin. Rusty water from the spray is refreshingly cool. With relief, you clean the dirt and sweat from your body and turn off the water. It's no wonder people say that a real atom agent should have clean hands, a cool head, and a warm heart. That's actually a really cool saying, clean hands, cool head, and warm heart. So I've got 50 less. Alright, that's pretty cool actually that the shower head's got its own thing as well. Any of these? Nope. And uh, it's not like I can interact with the other stuff. What about in here? I'm looking for like. A library or something to increase my smarts. Nope, and anything in the kitchen. That's pretty cool though. The the stat training stuff is really interesting to me. I have to keep coming back and see whether I can do a training every now and then, because it is set to the lowest thing it seems. Because it's 15 kilograms. I only injured myself though, which is sad, but. To be expected with my strength as weak as it is. Pasha. I try it next time, and if not, I might try it. Oh no, because I sold. Do it. I might still have some stuff that I can. Do I have anything I can use to increase my strength? I think I sold it, didn't I? That's sad. I just wonder whether I could just augment my strength and then use it. Like. Kinda like steroids, but. <laughs> And uh, it looks like that's in there. Hmm. I'll have to keep an eye out for it. If I get some more stuff like that in the future, I'll give it a go. Pasha. I hear about the repairs. A kitchen needs some work to be done. So be it. The kitchen's better than an open fire. You can also look for a cook tire. Are you looking to rhyme deliberately now, Pasha? Anyway, come back in two days. Who do I know who's a cook? There's a guy at Paragon. There's a guy in the s bandit camp. No trad, no. I mean, we've got the guys who run the inn, but I don't know whether they'd be interested. I still have to speak to that architect guy, actually. Um, the one who wants me to sponsor him for 10,000 rubles. I did tell him I'd come back eventually. Oh, shit. I forgot to store the stuff, didn't I? I'm going to get some ammunition out for my 54. 762 by 54. I don't have that many rounds for it, but that should be enough. And let's just dump the rest of my stuff. So I'm going to start organizing this now. Right, I'll have to keep an eye out for a cook. Oh, I'm so happy. Everything's coming together. 
all at once as well. Feels like I've just reached a point where sort of everything's getting, not like exponentially, but quite significantly. I'm feeling that it's less risky me doing anything now, which is, I guess, a good thing. I've got to that point where I'm comfortable with where I'm at. Mm, Doomsday Cult. I don't really have the, yeah, no. Talk my way out. Don't really have the inventory capacity, I don't think, to tang with them right now. Even with getting rid of a lot of the gear. Yeah, we have like a lot of rounds actually. I've got 300 for mine, Fidel's got 300 for his, and then we got Hexagen with, uh, obviously he burns through at a rate of not, so he's only got 123. Alexander obviously doesn't use that kind of stuff. And obviously Zulbar just uses his teeth. We could use some more stims though, I think. I mean, I've got plentiful enough supply, but we're starting to use them more now that we're encountering like tougher guys who tend to move before us and outnumber us quite significantly, even given the amount of us here. But I might as well go in here first now. So, minus on attention, 100% toxic resistance. Let's get in there. What do I look like now? <laughs> Very official. Let me just make sure that none of you guys have anything ridiculous equipped. Now you've all got your normal weapons. Alright, so let's hope this doesn't emit radiation as well. Ah, yes. I unlocked it last time, didn't I? We're fast, but help. Maybe you try it. Hmm. Got out of my, life, my first time last time. Oh, there we go. Right. I kind of want to just eliminate these rats as I go. Rather than encountering a load at once. 46 damage, is that a crit? Yeah, it was. That's what I'd say. It's quite a lot of damage for this. Uh, well, there's a lot of stuff in here. Oh, it was that one. I thought for some reason I couldn't target. I want to kill all the rats, but what the fuck happened in that shower? Certainly not what happened in my shower a few minutes ago. That's like recent blood, right? Oh my god. Ducky. Is another one down? Another one bites the dust. And there's one through there, actually. the hell is that? Um. What the hell have I wandered into? At least I'm not dying. Right, let's start by checking the pantry. What did they eat that made them so insane? Oh, there actually was salt on that shelf. Oh, the salt on the shelves, okay. Right. I wonder what happened in here to give all this radiation off. Because I assume these guys have lived in here quite a while without anything bad happening, and then it seems to have all gone wrong at once. Especially with the blood. I mean, these are all skeletons, so I'm not sure whether it's just like, that's just their blood texture, or... What if I stand in here? Nothing happens. <laughs> Bloody handprint. So whoever's been attacked was still alive at the time of the, uh... The fight. Maybe they were all killed by the rats? Well, there weren't that many rats, and there's quite a few people. Nothing I can do in the generator room. I'll make sure I get everything. Okay. Ooh. Oh, are these what? Photo. Aha! That is what I need. Strength and extra points. Minus three in select for a little bit, but oh well. Right, dead guy in boiler room. Or generator room. Painkillers. 
and wires. Wonder whether he's injecting them then. Oh no, because I don't really need to. Like, it's not like heroin or something like that. Probably just trying to fix something. Why do you have painkillers on there? Uh, no, I don't. Obvi well, I obviously don't speak Russian, but I'm just gonna listen to this for a second. If I don't want to listen to it for too long, but if anyone can actually make out any of that, I'd be uh, interested to know in the comments. <laughs> Just if you do. The hell? Guys, come on. <laughs> Stop burping. <laughs> Shouldn't be in taking so much breath in this place. Experience harder luck, rusty AK. But not least, just some pills. Hmm, so I can't actually do anything with the equipment, but I can do something with the server up here. The hell? Strange device using the Mikhail, Dmitry, Zhenya, Boris. Mikhail. Дмитрий, Женя, Борис, 47-636, Татьяна, Роман, Елена, Харитон, Леонид, Елена, Татьяна, Ольга, Константин. Are those all names? It sounds like... 49-45-29-47, Федор, Роман, Елена, Кратки, Зинаида, Елена, Роман. Is it like code? Like phonetics? Is that just because I pulled the decoder out? That's my comrades what they think of this place actually. Mm, no, I didn't seem to. Right. Well. That's pretty cool. Uh, I guess I can use that in the base somehow, or... Don't know what that means as well. <laughs> I love this game. Oh yeah, I can't remember if I looked at these, because I, I did go in and reload the, uh, you know, the game after I died the first time. Wait, do I not have my... Oh yeah, there it is. I th thought it was really blue for some reason, but it's just blue on the character, isn't it? Nothing, and... I wonder if you had a skeleton in or something? Nope, nothing. Okay then. Well, that's interesting. A decoder, hmm. I wonder... Those names, they didn't actually pop up in that transmission, did they, for the radio? It wasn't names, it was like code purple and that. I wonder whether we can use that with the radio. Hmm. I guess we can, I can't see any reason that we wouldn't. Right, I'm going to go back to the catacombs real quick, because I'd need to sell some stuff across Nose Pneumonia anyway and hand that quest in. Um, well, I just made a lot of money from that. That's 12,000 rubles I've got. Damn. Can I look at your stuff closer? No. So 
see whether this guy's open interesting to sell. I know his prices are pretty abysmal too, but... Nope. Right, let's do the other thing and speak... Where is everyone? The hell are you all doing inside each other over there? Right, let's descend into the catacombs and talk to our beloved Stefan. Is it Stefan? I'm fairly sure it's Stefan. No, Simon. Why did I mix that up? Right, so I just made a lot of money from that run, which is really nice. And I can in turn dump it into more ammunition. I just wish I'd come across more special pistol rounds. Sad. At least they're following me now. <laughs> yeah, so it's going to be four more levels before I can get one, and then ugh, five, and then five again. Wow, it's going to be a long time before I can get the heavy armor thing, even if I can get the heavy armor thing. Damn. Oh, well. At this rate, I'm getting quite a considerable amount more experience, so it's pretty good at this point. So, Mr. Shipak. The man puts his radio away and looks at you questioningly. I'm not going to dance around the matter. The drugs are gone. Your courier lost his head. The smuggler shivers, hearing the bad news, and blindly pushes a button on the radio, ending the conversation he was having before you showed up. Hmm, okay. Do you have any clues? I found a message stuffed into your decapitated courier's mouth. I never the bloody note. The man reads a note, looks around, sniffs at the paper, and finally shakes his head. Message from some guy called Uncle H. I get it now. Hook you fucking box of bitch. This is your doing, huh? What are you talking about? Spill it. Uncle Hook. At one time, he almost became the boxing champion of Navaloki City. Came down from the north to create a gang of his own and succeeded. When I sent you to deal with Torfik Mozambique, it was mainly to spite Hook. He was the petty thug who inserted himself into our operation, remember? Oh, so he's really a boxing champion? Funny story, actually. He was competing in the finals of a respected boxing championship and was winning. The opponent never had a chance. But the name of the championship was Boxing Navaloki 1986. The bombs fell before the last round was over, putting an end to his winning streak. He was never officially crowned champion. Hook's a pretty smart man, but his bomb failure is still stuck in his throat like a fishbone. It's his big weakness, however rational and scheming you may be. If someone reminds him that he was never named champion at the arena at Navaloki, he goes ape shit. Starts crying, laughing, twitching, striking out at everything around him. Even the heart problems he developed later in life don't stop him going berserk over this petty thing. But don't get me wrong, this doesn't stop him being a dangerous and calculating leader. His boxing skills are nothing compared to his crime lord skills. And what's his criminal record then? How dangerous is he really? He's had failures and victories in his time. He's tried it all. Planted a raid in our no village with bandits from the Eastern Wastes. Worked with a secret slaver gang in Paragon. Sold ammo to the thugs in the banded fortress. Even tried to join the Krasno in... He even tried to join the Krasno's Pneumonia Mafia, but their boss showed him the door. His main problem is that he was never on top of things. Always playing second fiddle. Seems like he finally decided to do something about it. What should we do about it? Don't rush me. I need to think. The smuggler starts drumming on the table with his fingers whilst pondering. The situation isn't going to be solved quickly. I need to talk to my colleagues first, maybe even try and contact Uncle Hook himself. He crossed all the lines this time. I don't care so much about the life of one courier, but he stole a very big shipment of drugs. That's unforgivable. Okay, I'm going to go have a talk with my partners. Come back in a day or so, alright? Alright. Hmm. Well, it's kind of disconcerting, but understand- Is he going to go upstairs? I oh, know. Disconcerting but understandable that he doesn't give a shit about the uh, courier under him. Which I suppose means he doesn't give a shit about me or my plight, but that's to be expected. Right, I'm gonna see where he goes actually. Don't have to remain in there anyway. Let's see if I can see where he goes. I'm fast enough, maybe I can catch him, but I'm not sure whether he's just gonna transition wherever he's gonna go. Um, wonder whether he might be in here. Can I speak to you and gain entrance? I don't think I had any more missions for Dan, did I? Did Dan tell me to come back? I'll just speak to Dan actually. 